I was planning another video, but as a Soma remain, I need to express my thoughts on these changes that will possibly occur to her. I will admit that my first thoughts were... No! No! But after thinking about it, I think I understand what Blizzard wants to do with her. See, Sombra has a certain flow that everyone understands, right? Hack a health pack, place translocate, flank, do damage and try to get a pick, take damage without dying, then translocate back for some juicy ult charge on your EMP. There is a certain degree of awkwardness with this flow, however. See, one of the things I learned as Sombra is that before you have EMP, you're kind of playing this game of hide and seek that doesn't involve your team. And sometimes this can be costly because sometimes you won't be able to get back and help your team in time. I learned that once I have EMP that I should stop flanking so much so that I can use my translocate to get into the fight and activate EMP midair getting the maximum amount of range I can on it. But once that's over it's back to this awkward gameplay of setting up my home base at a health pack and continue flanking for more EMP charge. Something I've noticed with the way Sombra is now is that when I'm not camping a health pack for ult charge Sombra flows really really nicely. Like it's way more fun and productive in a way I think. If someone is running around the corner that's low, I throw my translocate and pop up right in front of them to finish them off. Or sometimes place my translocate immediately behind my team then go invis and rush the low health enemy that way. The things you can do with translocate when you're not camping a health pack are amazing. People have seen me hack a fair that's way out in the distance by throwing a translocator at her to get within hack range, or throw it in the air and teleport and go invis to get out of trouble. You can even flank super easily by throwing it over your enemy's heads, go invis and translocate, but before you come out of it, wait for your translocate again to throw it back towards your team, then come out, get the hack, then escape. So many uses when you aren't camping a health pack. Reduction in hack time is the path to an OP Sombra in my book. I mean, I average 28 hacks on the enemy every match. That doesn't include EMPs, which I average 17. So again, these changes I think are meant to encourage Sombra players to stay with their team more, since there can be times where you can't get back to your team in time to help because you set up your translocate too far away. A good example would be most payload maps, since the objective is constantly moving, sometimes you set up camp by a health pack, then your team pushes the payload so fast that you find yourself way behind them. Again, it's not often, but it does happen, and it can make for some really awkward synergy with your team. EMP is so good. Like, pretty OP. If your team is willing to push, it can consistently help wipe the enemy out with just EMP alone. You're talking about an ult that disables everyone's abilities and ults, removes all shields and leaving a handful of heroes with no health like Zen, and tells not just you, but your whole team exactly who has their ultimates for the next 20 seconds so you can make a coordinated plan. And one time on Oasis, I got four of these EMPs in just one round. The enemy just couldn't stand against me. So less EMP would be good for people playing against a good Sombra. But they will be getting hacked more for sure. So she will just be as annoying, but feel less smothering, I guess, because less EMPs. However, the damage buff she's getting... I don't know how to interpret that, actually. I don't know if that's enough to put her on Tracer's level, but regardless, it will close the gap between them. So will she push Tracer out of the meta? Possibly? It's easy to say no, but for those that main Sombra like I do, know how dangerous Sombra can be compared to Tracer. And we're not just talking about more hacks on the enemy, but a stronger version of hack. Farah and Mercy will drop straight to the ground. Absolutely no hover ability. Genji will be walking around like a mini diva just throwing shurikens. Everyone should be afraid of Sombra mains if this goes through. And the benefit of hacking health packs is still there without the need to be camping on one. You still help your team while denying the enemy aid. I like to think of the little health packs by Eichelwald First Defense. Those will still be very valuable to keep hacked when defending the point. However, we really should be only using them for emergencies because now you will be robbing your supports of ult charge. So those are my thoughts on the potential Sombra changes. At first it seems bad, but giving us some thought gives me the idea we may be seeing a Sombra meta around the corner. I said this months ago after a first set of buffs and was very confident in that prediction, but it never came about. Maybe this time it will happen? What are your thoughts? I'd like to thank Miss Niu for helping me with these clips. She has a YouTube channel that I will leave in the description below and you should check her out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.